right, we got up to our room. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We uh, have a little bit more stuff in the car I'm about to go grab right now. And then I'm gonna try and ask if I can repark. There's like a, we're in the Frontier building. And I'm gonna ask if there's if I can park over there. Um, and then we'll be all set. So blue. Yeah, guess where we are. You can guess. Oh. oh, no, ready? One. Disneyland. Dude, why'd you do it on one? <laughs> anyway, we're in Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> we just got checked into the Disneyland Hotel, and this room is amazing. I'm so excited to get unpacked. I am too. We life. actually were in one of the un. The non-renovated rooms, it's a one-bedroom villa. Yeah, because I think that all the renovated, or not renovated, they're new. I think they're just new here in this tower. Yeah, here. okay. Um, they're, uh, here, let me turn this around. I think they're all in this tower, the new DVC tower here. This is harkening back, though, to the first time we came before Genevieve was even here. And we stayed at the Disneyland Hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, just a the standard room, but it had all, right. a lot of the same features. And so it's just making me so happy. Yeah, like the carpet and all that stuff. It just, just yeah. I love it. I love, I love this hotel so much. I so am much. so happy to be back in Disneyland. I feel like obviously we're Disney World people for the most part, but mm -hmm. man, Disneyland, man, it tugs at the heartstrings. There's there something, is something so about good. it because it's so it's yeah. just so so different. The yeah. girls have been running around this room too. They're so They've excited. Been having a ball. But we also have the concierge lounge, so which they called something different. The e-ticket e lounge. I've it never all even... just connected <laughs> e-tickets. Yeah, I was thinking like electronic ticket, like someone oh, like why would they yeah. call it that? E-ticket e lounge, oh my gosh. So, so we're stupid. about to, like I said, we got our stuff up to the room, I got the car parked. Anyway, our kids are crazy. We're gonna go check out the concierge lounge. Let's go. Okay, so this is where the uh, concierge lounge or the e-ticket lounge is. So we're gonna go explore. Okay, this way. Okay, so they just gave us a quick tour and they said this would be the way the fireworks, right? Yeah. Incredible view just of all of Disneyland. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. That is a lot of soda and juice. And they have all these models all around, which is just so cool. Okay, we just got back from the concierge lounge. It was really nice, and it has a great view of like the downtown Disney area, and looking out over the parks, you can see all the different weenies and stuff in the back. It's awesome. Um, but they said that's a really, really good place to watch the fireworks. So depending on um, how things go, we could possibly watch the fireworks there at least one of the nights we're here. We are going to bundle up because it's actually kind of cold outside, which is crazy, and go walk around the downtown Disney area for a little bit. Uh, we just figured we didn't need park tickets for today because it's already, I mean, we didn't get here till like three and you know, whatever. So uh, we're gonna go walk around there for a little bit and then it'll be about time for bed here before we know it. Mostly for me, also for the girls, but mostly for me. All right, I've got my special Disneyland California Adventure bag I got from Happily Ever Threads. Her shop kind of like opens and closes a lot and I don't know if this is always available, but I love supporting small shops when I can, especially with Disney stuff. I feel like there's so many cute things out there. So I will link her site at least because I've bought many things from there and I have loved all of them and the quality has been really good too. This is what we are here for. There's the monorail station. So we're heading into downtown Disney for the evening. It's not breakfast time at all. I love breakfast food. <laughs> so I'm the one that's always curious about like, what do people have for breakfast? This is all looking pretty good. To be fair, uh, we left our house on January 3rd and I didn't take any of our- Oh yeah, that's up for a while. So all of our, our Christmas lights are still up. 
<laughs> I'm sure everyone else in our neighborhood is taking him down. Oh, days. well. A little bit of joy. Okay, I just told Tyler. Salt and Straw, which is right there, is the best ice cream. I had it in Disney Springs and Disney World. Wow, 18,000 out of 10, best ice cream I've ever had, and I do not say that lightly. I'm so tired of hearing about it, I can scream. Yeah, you're, you're really trying it, try it's it. happening this trip, maybe tonight, maybe I tonight. Know, but I keep hearing Ooh. about it. And you and my mom, and I think someone else has even been like- Everyone on earth that's ever tried it. Gotta also, try. last time we were here, we stayed at the Grand Californian, which is right there, which is so cool. It really is not that big mm. of a difference, though, walking from the Disneyland Hotel. I mean, it it's a little longer, but not so walking. much longer. Added maybe five minutes, maybe. Maybe. And we're pretty slow leaving it. However, if you were, like, getting your Starbies in the morning, it is much closer to the Grand Californian. <laughs> Okay, this is a first. They find this fascinating that on this shirt, it says, from the movie, Disney Wish. Like, it doesn't just say Disney Wish, it says, from the movie. That is fascinating to me. I guess maybe because they have a Disney Wish cruise ship, and they don't want to confuse people? I, 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 I don't know. Fascinating. Okay. I might be getting this hat. I love it. Sorcerer Mickey is my favorite Mickey. I might be getting this. It says Fantasia on the back. That is very cool. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Disneyland Hotel. I am headed right now to go meet up with my agents and we are doing a uh, four different hotels today, four different good neighbor hotels. And we're gonna go see them and we're meeting with the uh, some people there. They're gonna show us around different room types and that kind of stuff. But uh, I am really, really excited to see everyone. I saw a few people the other day, but other than that, it's the first time I'm seeing all of them. So very excited. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, <laughs> it's like 11 a.m. We've had quite a morning. I don't know if Tyler's vlogged yet or not. So if not, hello and welcome. If if he has, hey, what's up? So we just got some coffee from the lounge and some snacks. The girls are eating bananas. We met up with Blue Nana, who played with Genevieve a bit so I could get ready because we had quite a night with Felicity last night. It was just a rough, rough night. So we are just about to head through downtown Disney to go to Disneyland and we are so excited. I was already looking at the wait times. We have Genie Plus for this trip, so we're definitely gonna do that, but you cannot make, in Disneyland, you can't make Genie Pluses until you're in the park. It is definitely, at least, at least at the point of filming this, different than it is in Disney World. So I had to read some blogs and watch some videos and make sure I understood too, because it is a little bit different. So I figure we'll get in, make a reservation for something we wanna do, maybe Peter Pan's flight, one of the ones that wait a little bit longer, or that the wait is a little bit longer, but that they all we all can ride. Okay, thank you. They have the most giant bananas in this lounge, like double the size of the ones I feel like we've had at home. Anyway, that is the plan. I'm really excited, but the nice thing is if the Lightning Lane or Genie Plus is a little bit later than we want, there were enough 10 to 15 minute waits, like Pinocchio's ride is like 10 minutes, that I think we can kind of fill the time while we wait. All right, Mama, there's Blue Nana. Hello. We're all here. Well, just us, I guess, and the girls. <laughs> so we're going in finally to Disneyland Park. Although you've been here a few days. Uh, yes, this is my second day to be at Disneyland Park. Okay. Yes. And you've already been to DCA too, right? Yes. Like, yes. she's been here a while. We're just now starting. So we're very, very excited. All right, the girls got balloons. We are in line for Winnie the Pooh and Gigi was excited that we could see our balloons over there. And it's a five minute wait. So there's the ride over there.
All right, we have hit up three hotels so far, and we're about to do the home two suites here. That's our last one for the day. Uncle Jason, what's up? Which was your favorite? That we've done so far. Indicated the one we just did. I was so impressed by that place. I, I had, I'm not gonna say I had low expectations, but I kind of had low expectations. But <laughs> it blew me out of the water. Yeah. The aesthetics, everything had just been redone. Um, I mean, that's gonna be. I was, I'm so, like, even, I would tell Jessica that's our go-to from now on. It's yeah. so good. Like, even compared to like the, the first two we went to were great, but then it was just like the candy cane just blew those. It, it did. It really did. And yeah. <laughs> I I was not expecting that, but it yeah. was it, that was amazing. The, the the cool thing I think was just. I mean, there's a lot of features, but it was just sort of the vibes as yeah. well. Yeah. It was like, it had those Disneyland vibes where it was like cool and retro, but like modern and yeah. comfortable. And, I don't know who their designer was, but they did a great job. And they just yeah. had little amenities too. Like, you know, if you, depending on what room size you get, you get like complimentary breakfast in your room. Everyone yeah. gets complimentary breakfast, but the, the other ones have like in-room complimentary breakfast. Yeah. I mean, it was just a very, very well thought out. They have a yeah. trolley that goes over there. This is not sponsored. This is just us talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I just was yeah, very cool impressed. Trolley have free parking. Free parking. That's like, huge here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're about to do the home two suites, and then we're going to go back for a little bit, and then we're going to Splitsville as an agency tonight to do an agency dinner, and that's going to be a blast. East Toontown. We finally finagled the balloons so they're not bopping everyone else in the face. Never again. This is so cool. I mean, this is neat, right? Oh my goodness! So we got some food at Cafe Daisy we're waiting on. I love this. This is the first time I've ever seen this in Disney. This toddler meal where it's kind of, I mean, it's still in the kids section, but mac and cheese, some milk, some applesauce. We also got, I think, one of these. I got the cheesy one up here, hoping Gigi will eat some of that with me. Sounds delicious. I also got an ice cold Coke. So a little update, the girls loved the mac and cheese so much. I'd only gotten one. I went back and got two, got another meal. Um, it was really a small amount, but they both loved it. So that was a win. We all feel happy, satisfied and full. So we're gonna go ride Runaway Railway. Genevieve said, this is totally what I pictured. The queue for Runaway Railway is so cute. Oh, is it? Oh my gosh. All right, we are currently in Goofy's little play area here, which is incredible. Okay, they also have this little two and under baby play area, which is so cute. What you got, Nana? I got, when we were here on Tuesday, I saw this. I thought, no, I can't buy it. So I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it says El Capitan Tune. El Capitan Tune Peter. And of course, popcorn. Best part. So we did our uh, tours earlier today, went really well. Uh, really, all the hotels we looked at were really nice. So I'm glad that we all have now physically been to these hotels because as a travel agent, it's hard. Um, you know, we're doing our research. We're always trying to do everything we can. We're calling hotels and making sure we know everything. Um, but to actually be in the space itself is, is just a different thing. So we went to several good neighbor hotels today so we could actually have been there. Um, and it makes it easier for us to recommend them to our clients and stuff like that. So that was all great. That took up the first half of the day. I just got back um, probably 30 minutes ago. I got these little gifts for my agents. And by the time they're seeing this, they'll already have seen all these. So I'll go ahead and show them to you here. Um, nothing too exciting, but I got some... Uh, some like notebooks here with our logo on it. I got water bottles with our logos on them and some embroidered hats with our logo on it too. So I just got all those ready here. I'm not putting tissue paper or anything in these bags yet until I go through security because I think at Downtown Disney, like they won't let you go in. Like they're gonna have to go through all the bags, I guess is the point. So I'll keep them open. And then once I get to Splitsville, which is where we're going tonight for dinner, I will put the tissue paper and stuff in them. But you go get like freshened up and stuff. And then I'm gonna go over here just a little bit. Uh, should be a really fun night. Like we were just talking about on the way back from our uh, tours here. We just <laughs> None of us are very good at bowling. So it should be a very fun night of uh, just a bunch of bad bowlers. <laughs> Okay, I just got to Splitsville and I got here before everybody else and we have this whole area to ourselves. It is so cool. So it's like a raised platform area and you walk up here and then we've got some tables. 
This is so cool. And they had a sign over there that said closed for a private event. And look, these lanes are just for us. And look, it says people move or travel. How awesome is that? I will say we've used the concierge lounge a lot. Like every time we leave, we go get coffee or a treat or something. So we're going to Splitsville. Got the girls. I don't think we'll stay the whole time. This is like his agency dinner get together. But I want to see everyone and I'm always excited. And there are a couple I haven't met, so I'm really excited about that. But um, we also have the girls. Lissy had an early morning nap, which is very bizarre. So we're just gonna kind of see how the night <laughs> goes. But I am excited and they're excited and their uncle Jason's here too, which they're very excited about. But I have to say, I'm again thankful how walkable Disneyland is. The fact that we could like relax in the room for a bit, have a snack, be able to just walk like a mere steps to get to downtown Disney is incredible. Cannot be understated how nice it is with little kids and a stroller. No one's here yet. It's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and start and see how this goes until the rest of the group gets here in like 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know, I haven't pulled in like 10 years. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be really bad. All right, no judgment. Oh, that was not bad. Oh, bowling's like super easy. All right, Blue, Blue Nana's gonna bowl. She hasn't bowled in 25 years. Here we go. I don't have Oh, you're gonna get kicked out. Got some the second time. All right, we just finished our dinner at Splitsville and now we're going to Geneva <laughs> Squavy. Uh, now we're, uh, I would say almost all of us are over here now at Salt and Straw and uh, I have heard nothing but good things about this ice cream and I've never tried it. So I'm gonna try Salt and Straw ice cream for the first time.